hello guys in this video i will be explaining about how the quest goal can be branched based on the dialogue choice that the player makes while speaking to npcs or other characters um, so uh, for that i have created a quest for demonstration i will i will explain the quest first so after the dial after the quest is started and the first goal is completed the quest instructor has to uh, go to go and speak to the NPC so upon speaking to the NPC uh, what it does is uh, yeah, uh, before that I am using uh, this goal objective result based branch goal so what this branch goal is uh, it will have a single objective just like this uh, so based on the result from the objective so if you see in the sense in objective context I mean in each of the objective is determined uh, when it is determined that it is completed from the objective context it will receive other other details map which is a map of string uh, as a key and a value as a uh, string as a key and value uh, so in that map we will send the option uh, option that the player has chosen uh, so in this case in that map under the brand selected key we should either send top or bottom uh, so the player can choose there will be two choices for the player when speaking to the npc and one of that will be mapped to the top and another one will be mapped to the bottom so when the player selects this one get called and based on the player choice uh, if it is top in the sense it will go to the, uh, the go to the top objective get active and if it is bottom in the sense go to the bottom will become active so yeah that is how this will work and first of all I will demonstrate it and after that I will explain how I have integrated so that uh, you can follow similar kind of setup in your project I will not be showing anything related to plugin code I will be just explaining my implementation in my game so this is in my game so I cannot uh, this this date content will not be available in the plugin but uh, you can create it anyway uh, which is fairly an easy process uh, I will start the process so I have I have to do what I have to do is the quest is assigned in this quest designer so I will go in and fetch the quest so I will track the quest so yeah now I will start the quest by going to that location yes. now the quest is instructing me to talk to the character so I have to talk to and speak to the character and decide your choice um, yes so what I will do is I will go and speak to this NPC so it is asking hello adventure what can I do for you so what I will do is I will do ask for about the dialogue quest what are my choices to go to and these are the location available take one yeah so here are the choice whether I have to go to high ground or low ground so when I choose low ground uh, the low keyword will be passed and the brand selected key and the low section will be selected low object will be selected so right now I will select the low area Okay, good choice go ahead and okay so the choice is chosen and as you can see the next uh, objective is having the have asking me to reach this location and so yes I have reached the location and the quest is completed so what I will do now is I will just choose the choose high ground next time uh, now I will play play it again and go and collect the uh, get the objective uh, sorry get the quest yeah yes um, yeah about the quest what are my choices okay now I will choose high ground Now as you can see the objective that is chosen is different and 
the location that I have to reach is somewhere in the high ground so this is how the dialogs can be used to branch in the quest um, so one more thing that we can do is we can also assign the quest when we speaking to the player I have included it in my game actually uh, instead of going and uh, picking up it manually what we can do is we can speak to the player uh, speak to the NPC and ask for a quest we can ask for a quest is there any task and can you help dealing an issue so we can accept or reject uh, I will reject it first and it will ask it again and yeah this is and all in my game so it will not be available in the plugin but you can do that everything can be done integrated with the dialog systems um, yes I have accepted it so yes as you can see I have I am assigned with the quest and I can initiate and complete the quest uh, just as usual um, so this is ab all about the demo so what I will be doing now is I will be explaining how I have integrated so as I have told already um, based on the choice here made here the branch will occur so how I have integrated is uh, I have created an objective context that will deal with the chat chatting thing so what it does is uh, in my implementation this will be like this but uh, according to your dialog plugin, plugin you have to alter it so what I have what I have in my dialog system is whenever uh, a quest has dialog related activity we have to assign at uh, we have to start the dialog with the dialog asset that is specific to that quest uh, that is the objective because a single dialog cannot have all the thing that is related to hundreds of quests right so everything should be unique according to the objective of the quest uh, so so how it will work is so whenever I have an objective chat objective so my chat objective will assign the uh, chat that needs to be performed for this objective uh, to that character so when we interact with that character that chat will come up and what I have done is in my in my character um, here uh, in my ha character what I do is uh, whenever I am chatting I have a new node for chatting I mean new thing uh, I will show it here in my dialog system uh, which is let me go and pick up the dialog this is the dialog uh, dialog I mean sorry not this one this is the dialog that I have made for choice so in this dialog what happens is this is the choice uh, player dialog so based on the dialog what I have is this is the choice key, key ID this is the custom dialog for that particular choice making alone so others will not have choice ID in my this all specific to in uh, my dialog system that I have developed uh, which is not yet for a sale or a uh, in the market or wherever I have not published anywhere uh, it is still in the beta development so I will put it either for sale or most probably I will put this plugin for free in, in community page for Unreal um, so in the, based on the choice the top and bottom get selected um, um, yeah upon the, cho upon the choice is made I have a event uh, from the dialog system uh, that is implemented by by my extended version so the actual plugin will not have that event uh, this is the event that I have uh, from from the extended uh, I mean from the content extended from the uh, dialog that is I have extended the dialog component in my own, own thing and I have uh, made 
new delegates and done it so you can also do like that you can have your own custom uh, choice making dialogue thing and you can broadcast the event and from that event you can handle that so in that event you will broadcast the choice and the dialogue so from there what i will i am doing is i am creating the map and i am assigning the choice and i am just doing as usual uh, so this is how i have i have integrated and upon that execution what happens is this will come to this one on completion callback and what i do is i will reset the dialog again so so that the npc switches back to the normal dialog that is the default dialog that it uses when character interacts with the npc so this is how the things are integrated and this is how the things works in my system and this the same thing can be used in yours also with your custom plugin or other dialog plugin that you have bought from the marketplace with few tweaking that you have to done do from your side uh, so this is all for this video guys if you have any question in the sense please let me know uh, please let me know and or you can comment it and i can contact you back uh, whatever uh, you wish uh, i am very happy to clarify any questions you have thank you all bye bye have a great day.